Welcome to EDU L Classroom. In this tutorial, we will learn about adaptations in plants. First, what is adaptation? The adjustments of plants according to its surroundings for its survival is called adaptation. It means adaptations are special features that allow a plant or animal to live in a particular place. So what is adaptation? Adaptations are special features that allow a plant or animal to live in a particular place. So plants have adaptations to keep them survive. Survive means live and grow in different areas. So there are different plants in different areas because of the different areas has water, minerals, sunlight, air, soil, weather and other conditions different. So plants found in different places are different. So what we get? Plants are different in different places because of in other places weather, soil, land and other conditions in different places are different. So we can classify the plants in two parts, two class according to their surroundings. First is terrestrial plants. or plants growing on land. Plants which are growing on land, we call them terrestrial plants. Second type of plants is aquatic plants. or plants growing in water. Which plants growing in water? That is aquatic plants. So there are two types of plants. Terrestrial plants and aquatic plants. According to their surroundings, first we will discuss terrestrial plants. Terrestrial plants Plants growing on land are called terrestrial plants. Most plants grow on land. Some plants grow on the mountains where it is cold and some in deserts. Some grow along the sea coast and some in places where it is hot and wet. So, we classify the terrestrial plant like this. First type of terrestrial plant is plants of plain. Trees like mango, peepal, shisham grow in warmer climate of plain land. They shed their leaves in winter to protect themselves from cold weather. So these plants have lots of branches and leaves in other seasons. There can be a heat but not cold. These type of plants, land plants are called mesophytes. Meso means land and phytes means plant means land plants. Now, second type of plants, plants of hills. Plants which go on hills are called plants of hills. In the cold, hilly areas, 
as Uti, Kashmir. Trees are generally tall and straight. This feature helps them in catching the sunlight. These are evergreen plants. Plants like pine, fir, dedar, etc. These type of plants are called conifer trees. Now, third type of plants, plants of hot and wet places. Plants that grow in coastal areas are adapted to hot and wet climate, like coconut. rubber pepper these trees are evergreen trees now plants of deserts In deserts, there is scarcity of water. So, plants adapt themselves to get whatever little water is available or without water for many days. The leaves of desert plants are reduced into spiny thorns. This feature helps the plants to check the water loss from the plant's body. The process of food making in these plants are in stem plants of desert like cactus date palm have thorns instead of leaves now we will discuss aquatic plants Plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. These plants are also called hydrophytes. Hydro means water, phytes plants means water plants. These type of plants can be divided into three groups. First is floating plants. Floating plants, these type of plants float in water because, because they have either spongy or air filled stems and leaves as due to their size. These plants have thin broad leaves with their stomata on the upper side. These plants are very light and stem of such plants are reduced. Example of floating plants duckweed, water lettuce, etc. Now, fixed plants. These plants remain fixed to the bottom of the pond. These plants have long hollow stem and broad leaves. The leaves float on the surface of the water. They also breathe through pores that water does not block the pores. Lotus and water lily are example of fixed plants. Now, underwater plants. These plants grow underwater. They have narrow leaves with no pores. They breathe out their body surface and help to keep the water clean. These plants are fixed to the soil at the bottom of the pond with the help of their roots. 
These plants are grown in aquarium. The example of this type of plants are hydra. Tebras, etc. There are some unusual plants that eat insects. Such plants are called insectivorous plants. These type of plants have two halves of leaves. When an insect gets inside, the two halves are closed and the insect is trapped. The example of insectivorous plants is Venus flytrap and nature plant. 